My name is Dylan, I'm with the Mako Group, and we're here at SHOT Show this year, 2014. We've got some really exciting new products. One of the products that was getting a lot of excitement at the SHOT Show this year is the new version of our KPOS, we call it the KPOS Pathfinder. The Pathfinder KPOS is different than our previous versions because unlike other versions of our KPOS, it doesn't have what the ATF considers to be a butt stock. So by removing the buttstock, replacing it with a stabilization tube that you can put your cheek on to stabilize the weapon, this system is no longer required, uh, no longer requires the pistol or the KPOS to be registered as a short-barreled rifle. This makes it available in states that do not allow short-barreled rifles, such as New York and California. And it saves people from the hassle uh, and expense of filling out the paperwork waiting eight months or so at the current, at the current rates uh, to get a tax step back on their pistol. It still has, it's still exactly the same K-POS that everybody's familiar with. The, everything from the front to the stock is the same, but instead of the stock, we have the folding tube. Just like, the, just like a pistol buffer on an AR, same dimensions as a pistol buffer on the AR. So if you have certain uh, accessories that are designed to fit on a pistol buffer for an AR, they'll fit on this system as well. It's still more compact than a micro Uzi, and it still makes your pistol stable like a carbine, but concealable like a pistol. One of the great things about the KPOS system is it's the only such system that was designed for serious use. The, or the original intended users of the KPOS system it are security professionals who are working in those situations where they need something that is concealable, smaller than, a, smaller than an AR, more like a micro Uzi type size weapon. They want the reliability and familiarity of the host pistol, and they need the stability of a carbine. We found that these systems are very, very popular with the school resource officers. Many, many more schools now have police officers in the schools. Most schools do not allow a police officer to walk around the hallways with an AR rifle, but he can carry this in his backpack. A lot of high schools have hallways that are 75 meters, 100 meters long, long enough that you can't safely take a pistol shot at that range. With this, in a, with this in a backpack, a briefcase, or a small bag, a school resource officer has the means with, with optics, st the stability of a carbine, to actually be able to take out an active shooter at those kind of ranges safely. The Pathfinder KPOS comes with the VTS tactical support. You can either mount it this way in order to pull forward on the pistol, to pull it against a, a sling to stabilize it, or you can turn it around and mount it the other way and use it to pull back on the, on the pistol against your other hand. It also comes standard with our new folding polymer sights. These sights are very, very rugged, very, very simple sights. What we found when we looked at other polymer sights is that the sights were built uh, often with uh, dimensions that weren't quite appropriate for a polymer sight. Anytime you design something, you have to design it towards the material that you're using. So polymer is a great material for backup sites, but the site has to be designed for uh, that material. These sites have no buttons, they have no levers, they have no locks. The problem with other site, polymer sites is they have locks, buttons, levers that lock them into place, and they're fairly delicate. So if your site's deployed, and you run that site into something, you have a polymer lever that's locking it into place, you're gonna break that lever. With the, with the new Fab Defense polymer folding sites, if you run that site into something as you're moving, it folds. Very simple. Deploys, folds, just by flipping it up, flipping it down. The entire site's designed with angles so that it doesn't catch on equipment. If you hit something with it, your site is gonna bounce off of the object that you hit instead of catching it hard. The front sight is finger adjustable for elevation. The rear sight is finger adjustable for windage. And the rear sight has the standard style AR dual apertures, a fine aperture for uh, precision work, a larger aperture for low light, and for CQB combat. Price on the KPOS Pathfinder version is going to be just about just, just a little bit above $600 uh, retail. You can expect uh, some dealers to have it a little bit cheaper than that.